What's up, everybody? Being able to parse text may be one of the most basic and fundamental skills you'll need as a GIS person. Parsing text is taking a small bit of text out of a longer string of text and doing something to it and then putting it back or taking it out and putting it in another field. I'm going to show you a one-line Python expression that will grab a small chunk of text out of a longer string of text and put it in another field. Let's do that right now. In this map, I have a tax parcels layer. In that layers table, I have a name field, which is a text field. Within that field, I have a string of text that's formatted like this. The first part is the subdivision abbreviation. The second part is the phase of that subdivision, the phase number. And this last part is the lot number. I want to take this lot number and put it in this lot number field, which is a short integer field. To do that, I'm going to right-click my field heading and choose Calculate Field. Now, I would recommend switching this Enable Undo switch, but mine's grayed out, and that's because I have pending edits. So I'm going to save those edits, then switch on my Enable Undo. That's there because this tool can really mess up your day or maybe even your week. Notice this little warning message that says this tool modifies the input table. If you screw up this expression, it modifies the original data and it's going to screw up all of that data that you calculated. So it's really best to have Enable Undo turned on. Because I right-click the field I want to calculate, everything's already filled in for me. And I want to leave the expression as Python 3. Now here's that expression. It's as easy as that. I hit apply. And I have my lot numbers. Here's how that expression works. For every record, it takes the contents of the name field. It runs that text through the split method. The split method has a parameter called the separator. And I use the dash character for the separator because that's what separated each of my components. The split method returns a list, and each list has an index. And that negative one in square brackets is the last item in my list. So I'm going to use the Python window to show you how each part of that is evaluated. To get to the Python window, I go to Analysis. Click this drop down by Python and say Python window. I'm going to right click on one of my records in the name field and say copy. Then in the Python window, I'm going to paste that between two single quotes. So that's my string object or my text that I want split. Now I'm going to type dot split, enter my parameter of the dash character and hit enter. So here is our list that gets returned. As I said before, a list has an index. If you go from the front of the list, you start with zero. And if you come from the back of the list, you start with negative one. That's why I use that negative one to get that last item. So if we put the whole thing together, this is what we get. Paste my stuff again, dot split, dash character, square bracket, negative one, square bracket. So that returns that 0048, but that's different than what I got in my field. So because I was putting that text into a number field, the field calculate tool translated it into an integer. Because it was able to do it, it did it. If it was unable to do it, it would have given me an error. There you go, a one-line expression that takes a piece of text from a longer one, puts it in another field. Let me know down in the comments the tricks you use to parse text. If you have any other questions about that expression, let me know in the comments and I'll answer those. This is actually the fourth time I've shot this video. The first three times, 
I went into great detail about all the parts of that expression. And during editing, I thought, nobody's going to watch this. It's so boring. So I scrapped those, went with this shorter route. You may have questions. If you do, let me know in the comments. I'm very interactive there in the comments. Uh, let me know what problems you run into. Now, if you thought the split method was handy, check out this video on how to put things back together from a list. And if it's not there, that's because I haven't made it yet. So in the meantime, go check out this video to see which mouse you should be using. We'll catch you next time.